We are in Canva and we're going to create our scrolling website mock-up. So what we're going to do is create a design to pop that mock-up in if you like. So come up here to the create design button. Let's say we're going to do an Instagram reel. Click our Instagram reel. It will have all the right dimensions. We're in a new window with our Instagram reel. First thing we want to do, we're going to start really simple. We're not going to have too many fancy things. We're just going to show you the basic elements and we can zhuzh it up at the end. So we come across to elements and you scroll through all of these elements, lots and lots of them, until you get to this heading called frames. And over here, we're going to click the see all button. So now within our frame section, we have lots of different categories, basic shapes, film and photo, devices, paper. It's the devices that we're going to be looking at. So we click on see all, and this is all the computer um, mock-ups that you can use. For, our, for this today, we're going to use an iMac. So we've got our iMac up here. If you click that, it comes into your design window and you can use the handles in all the corners to, to resize that and place it where you need it to be. So when you're going to put your website within this frame, you need to get the dimensions of this frame and your website pretty much the same. Otherwise it looks weird and it doesn't look as professional and you don't get the result that you like. So to get those dimensions, the easiest way is to take a screenshot of this. So if on a Mac, if you press shift command four, your little cross hatch, you go into the top left hand corner, you drag that out into the right hand bottom. So you're getting all of that in that screen. You release your mouse and you get this little screen recording down the bottom. It's a little bit tiny. So what we do is we resize that to be kind of the size of the website that you're going to be recording. So in uh, my browser here, I have my Katie Grace template that we're going to record. So what I'm going to do is get this, this inside part of the frame, kind of the same size as the browser. So if I put it up in the top left hand corner, you can see these are the same size. This one's bigger. So we need to move this browser cut into the same dimensions as that. Now, if you can, if we move this over, we can see the top is aligned. So now we need to move the bottom up to there. So these are aligned as well. So now that screenshot that you've got over there is pretty much exactly the same as your browser. So we're kind of done with him. We can put him in the bin. We finished with him. We now come back into our Canva template, our Instagram reel that we're designing. We'll just make this a little bit bigger so we can see. We go into our finder and we go into our recent files. I renamed the actual capturing of this website. I called it so I know what's going on, the Katie Grace website template. I now drag and drop that into the Canva window. It starts to load over here and it is also loading within our actual Instagram reel. I can just pause that for a minute. Then you can put your cursor anywhere within that and you can drag it into that space over that image of the Mac. So if we start to play it, you can see that the scrolling is now inside there. It looks super professional and it's exactly what we're after. So if we close him, we could then make it a little bit more, we could judge it up. So we could make the background a nice light color. Then we go to our elements section and if I search for palm frond shadow, let's say, we get these nice, this nice shadow effect. We can drag it onto the background, make it a little bit bigger like that. And we just say replace background. And then what we'll do is just to make, just to make it a little bit more subtle, we can just bring the transparency back on that and we get that color that we've got in the background. And now we have our beautiful computer mock-up inside our iMac ready to go. Let's just add some finishing touches. I've got some text that I've got here that we can just grab really easily. So if you see me typing it out, pop that into there and our reel is ready to go. So we click share. For this purpose, we're just gonna download it as an MP4. That's the main thing that you need to do. The file type is an MP4 video. We're going to download just our page one Click, out, click done and download, and that's going to now save our Instagram Reel as a download. So that's it, we're all ready to go.